Manga Wido. I'm Seiji Kuroda. I've liked the stars ever since I was a kid, and it was my dream to become an astronaut. I'm gonna go to the moon on a rocket, make a ring from a stone I find, and propose to you with it, Haruka! Yay! I can't wait! I was so fascinated by space that I went as far as making that promise to Haruka, my childhood friend. But when I got older and looked into it using books and the internet, I realized I had neither the brains nor the brawn required to become an astronaut. In that case, I at least wanted to get a job related to space in some way. When I casually dropped the idea in conversation to my friend from the University Astronomy Club, he recommended I get a job at Manwa Denshi. Manwa Denshi are a company that create things like spaceship parts. You study electrical engineering as a hobby, right? I'm sure you could put that knowledge to use. When I looked them up, Manwa Denshi currently did seem like a company that aligned with my aspirations. The barriers to entry were high, but they were taking on fresh university graduates. To convey my enthusiasm, I brought my research reports and some equipment I'd made myself to the interview. I've been studying hard to be able to join your company. It would be an honor to work with you. The president of Manwa Denshi, while young, was capable and was famous for being strict. I found several views on the nets that said things like, both his words and the look in his eyes are relentless, and the employees are always trembling. I have to admit, I was super nervous when he was staring at me during the final interview. But it seems like I conveyed my enthusiasm. Woohoo! I got the job! And that's how I ended up joining Mawa Denshi, my dream company. My first foray into this world of work was, of course, difficult at first. But since it was a job I wanted, it felt worthwhile and I was able to give it my all with the support of my girlfriend, Haruka. And so, three years after I joined, my salary had gone up after being promoted to manager, and I was thinking of proposing to Haruka soon. That's when it happened. Mr. Kuroda, you're single, aren't you? How about my daughter? Huh? What do you mean, sir? Unbelievably, the president came over and asked me to marry his own daughter. My daughter Erica only judges men by their looks. She brings home nothing but idiots. I get so sick of them, I end up kicking them out. I'm in a difficult situation, and there's no end in sight. You, on the other hand, are a hard worker and an excellent employee. You don't seem the type to mess girls around. I think you'd be perfect for my daughter. So, will you marry my daughter? For a moment, I was at a loss as to how to react to this unexpected request, but... Um, well... I have a girlfriend who I've been dating since junior high, and I'm thinking of proposing to her soon. So, I'm really sorry. I'm grateful for the offer, but I can't marry your daughter. This was no time for ambiguity. I responded honestly, right there on the spot, and declined. But I had no idea how he was going to react. Hmm, I see. His response was extremely difficult to read, but that was the end of the matter for the time being. It was afterwards that my coworkers told me. Apparently, the president not only liked my work ethic and technical ability, but unlike the other employees who had a tendency to avoid him, he respected the way that I, undaunted, willingly sat next to him when he went out for drinks. I was used to handling cranky older guys like him due to the fact that my father, much like the president, was a difficult man, and I'd been forced to deal with him ever since I was a child. I only did it because I didn't want him giving any of the employees who didn't drink a hard time. I think he likes me for that. I doubted anything more would come of it since I told him I have a girlfriend. I had underestimated him. A few days later, it appears your girlfriend Haruka's family run a small factory in town. What? Where's he going with this? The president, after thoroughly investigating Haruka, approached me again to ask if I would marry his daughter. It's about Haruka's family factory. It appears they're subcontractors of a company run by an associate of mine. When I spoke to him, he said he was going to terminate their contract soon. If you do what I say and marry my daughter, I'll put in a recommendation for them and ensure the contract continues as normal. What do you think? Gah! Isn't this just a threat? He stood by my side as I trembled with rage. The president said, If you marry my daughter, Becoming CEO one day will be more than just a dream. That doesn't sound bad, does it? Please think carefully. And with that, he walked away smiling. Damn it! What is this? 
the hell am I meant to do? I didn't feel like going home. I went to a local bar and drunk heavily. Seiji, is that you? You look like hell. What happened to you? Someone was shouting my name. It was my classmate from high school, Ryoma Takahashi. He was social, upbeat, and always had a girl on his arm. To be honest, I was never good with those types, so I didn't really speak to him that much. Ryoma? I'm here for you, man. Want to talk about it? We should be classmates after all. You're annoying. Leave me alone. In spite of what I said, I had drank a lot of beers. And with the momentum of the alcohol, I told him what the president had said to me. Why don't you just marry the president's daughter temporarily and just divorce her later? You make it sound so simple. It is! His daughter's the promiscuous type who falls easily for good-looking guys, right? Well, you just have to supply her with a good-looking guy after you get married so she cheats on you. She'll be your own downfall. Pulling that off wouldn't exactly be easy. Who the hell would help me with a plan like... Ryoma placed his hand on my shoulders as I was staring down at the table. He's right in front of you! If you can fix me up with a nice reward for my efforts, I'm your guy! I'm a little short for cash right now. You must have heard, though. There's no one better with the ladies than me. <laughs> it was true. A player like him might just be able to seduce a promiscuous girl like her. After that, the president, who was becoming impatient, threatened me again. If you don't give me an answer soon, I can't guarantee my recommendation will make it in time. And it seems they really were in trouble because Haruka told me how her father was struggling due to a recent decrease in orders from one of their clients. I have no choice. I gave Ryoma a call, ready to stake everything on his plan. It was make or break. Haruka, I'm so sorry. If this all works out and I am able to divorce the president's daughter, if you still have feelings for me by then, I want to propose to you, for real this time. Say. I explained everything to Haruka and got married to Erika, the boss's daughter. She was even more beautiful than I'd heard, but inside, she was awful. She made her mom do all of the housework while she was away at the beauty salon having her nails done or out meeting guys. She spent the money I earned like it grew on trees. In spite of that, I played the part of the doting husband to the utmost. I heard there's a new gym in front of the station. I wanna go. Oh yeah? Good idea. It looked nice when I saw it from the outside yesterday. I think you'd like it. Really? Hmm, maybe I should go then. This was my chance! I called Ryoma immediately and arranged for him to meet Erika at the gym under the guise of coincidence. When they did, things went so smoothly it was almost comical. Apparently she fell for Ryoma straight away and continued going to the gym while paying no attention to me at all. Erika invited me over to your place and we might have borrowed your bed. Here's a picture. Thanks. I don't mind if you use the bed, so go wild. I need you to get me some more evidence. Got it! Erica seemed to think I was a stupid, naive husband. She gradually began to meet Ryoma more and more, and they even started doing the deed at our house without a care in the world. Hey, Erica asked me to marry her. What should I do? Hmm, I see. Tell her I'll marry you if you divorce your husband. Okay! That week on my day off, Erica, unusually, came over to speak to me while I was relaxing on the sofa. I have to ask you something. Can we get a divorce? It's finally time! Just as planned. Is what I didn't say, resisting the urge to ridicule her. Instead, I said, sure, no problem. Huh? What? Let's break up immediately and get a divorce. When I showed her the mountain of photographic evidence of her affair, she sunk to the floor, so astonished she couldn't even speak. I've been enduring it all. She doesn't do the housework. She spends my money like it grows on trees. It was all because she was your daughter. But there's no way I can approve of cheating. When I called the president and explained what had happened, he flew over with his wife at once. I'm so sorry. I'll pay you reparations. I'll guarantee your position at the company forever. What will the neighbors say if they find out our daughter had an affair? Not just that, but trust in our company will be destroyed. Please keep this between us. That's right. I'd investigated this thoroughly in advance, too. The company had recently introduced some new state-of-the-art machinery, the money to purchase which was procured from the president's wife's grandpa. Seems they borrowed hundreds of thousands of dollars, interest-free and unsecured. 
His wife's grandpa was a stern man who wouldn't tolerate infidelity. If the affair leaked, there was a strong possibility he'd demand his money back and never lend them anything again. And if that happened, the president's position would be in jeopardy. That's why they were so desperate to keep my mouth shut. After that, I received a huge sum of compensation money and we got a divorce. At the time of the divorce, I wrote, the reason for the divorce will not be disclosed in the written agreement. I had no intention of taking the matter any further. Bioma, thanks for everything. Here's the $10,000 I promised. You mustn't speak a word of this to anyone. Of course, I won't tell anyone. Just give me a call if you need me again. <laughs> Actually, I won't be requesting any more affairs after this. Later, I met Haruka. I know I married another woman, so I'll understand if you say no, but at least let me propose to you. Haruka, I love you. If you can forgive me, will you marry me? You did this for me and my pops. There's no way I could be mad at you, Seiji. Thank you. Let's get married. And that's how we tie the knot. We got married six months after the divorce, and we're now living happily together. Oh, by the way, I don't know if it's because she found out I got married, but Erica turned up and caused a racket outside our house one time, shouting, You tricked me, didn't you? She soon quieted down when we called the police, though. In a sense, I think Erica was a victim, too. It was all her dad's fault. If she's going to hold a grudge against anyone, it should be against her dad for tearing me and Haruka apart with his cowardly actions. After that, the president always seemed as if he was walking on eggshells around me. As promised at the time of the divorce, I got a raise and my working conditions improved. So I had absolutely no intention of exposing him. But today, I had an appointment with a certain individual from White Oak Corp. I can't wait to find out what kind of offer I get.